Oh, it's you. I know I should have never let you play in public. Trouble is, you're playing the violin with your hands instead of with your ears. There's an alley where the acoustics are perfect. And besides, I won't be able to hear it. Yeah, you see, I was helping this little guy change his tire when all of a sudden it rolled down the hill and... Hmm? Thank you, TC. <coughs> and fellow members of the bankruptcy, we tried everything possible to make an honest dollar. Raffles, bazaars, block parties, and recently the George Washington White State Board. Uh, yeah, TC. Why don't we just bring in new people? There's nothing historic in this neighborhood. Just meet up building. Get your maps. Get your fresh fairy treasure maps. What about me? What about me, TC? I ain't sold one pirate map. I'll try the next block. If that bombs, I'll go back and look for the treasure myself. Here you are. Genuine pirate treasure map. Get them while they're fresh. Oh boy, customers. Get your maps here. Get your very treasure map. Pirate maps. They show you where Captain Kidd's treasure is. Right here in New York City. According to the map, I take eight paces to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five paces to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Warning, this building coming down. What if the map says anything about that? No, it just has to go straight ahead. Treasure! 
we're rich. Red, look, if it's Captain Kidd's treasure. Except that I was taking a nap in the dryer when this lady opened it for her laundry. You should have heard this scream when she saw me. Gee, baby, you and I could make beautiful music together. <laughs> Let's see take you away from all this madness. Come on, why fight it? Slip me a kiss. No, oh, boy, she's weakening. Last time she hit me with her fist. Baby, like, uh, that's against the law. And like, what about the block party? See, I think, like, uh, he's heading for the wrong window. Are you kidding, GC Baby? Like, uh, Benny can't play the fiddle. Officer Dibble's cousin. Dibble lent him his retirement, though, like, uh, to buy the joint. And speaking of the Dibble, uh, here he comes now. Uh, what's this clever international jewel thief like uh, Dante, see? Looks like we'll have to, like, uh, snatch the scarab from Shirley. Good night. Hello, Howie. Hello. I'm going to the islands. I mean Wahoo, Molokai, Maui, and see when I get back from my vacation. You wit rob from me. 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 Folks, the big iced tea taste test is history, and the clear winner is the Eye. In Atlanta, it's Louisiana over Lipton. 65 to 30. In Birmingham, 67% like prefer the great taste of Louisiana. Louisiana's secret? Louisiana just tastes a whole lot better. See how satisfying iced tea can taste. Hey, you reckon there's a spell Final tally, Louisiana before? preferred two to one. It's the clear winner. Is now really the time to be asking that? I like a day that's not cloudy and a tea that's not cloudy. That's why I like Louisiana. Louisiana's got special tea leaves that keep it clear as a bell all day. Now, if you're drinking Lipton or Tetley, look at the box. It tells you what to do when it turns cloudy. Louisiana says nothing about cloudy. Because it doesn't get cloudy. Louisiana, the one tea that's always clear as a bell. Folks. The Big Ice Tea Taste Test is history, and the clear winner is Louisiana. In Atlanta, it's Louisiana over Lipton, 65 to 30. In Birmingham, 67% prefer the great taste of Louisiana. Louisiana's secret? Louisiana just tastes a whole lot better. See how satisfying iced tea can taste. Final tally, Louisiana preferred two to one. It's the clear winner. I like a day that's not cloudy and a tea that's not cloudy. That's why I like Louisiana. Louisiana's got special tea leaves that keep it clear as a bell all day. Now, if you're drinking Lipton or Tetley, look at the box. It tells you what to do when it turns cloudy. Louisiana says nothing about cloudy. Because it doesn't get cloudy. Louisiana, the one tea that's always clear as a bell. Anything. I'm sure that whatever minor alteration may have occurred will go completely unnoticed. Well, I could be any kid running a time machine. See? My hair is completely different. Enough talk. I know you are the one who changed the garage code. And me, Uncle Oldo. What's the garage code? Flash. Right. Thanks. Oh, no! Carl! Somebody's stealing the time machine! Oh, me, Carl. Some guy in a bowler hat. Oh, great. They're gonna find some way to blame me for this. Right. And do you wanna know what else isn't funny? Giant Ant stole the time machine. And you're all wound up. Let's just calm down, take a breather, and watch the sunset. But I'm on it. Captain Future request apology. It's all brought to you by Cornelius Robinson. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, my dad. He's an incredible talented man. Some even go. You know, Dad built way more times than he succeeded, but he kept going and never gave up. And neither should you. And that's why you're gonna go back to the science fair and fix your memory. Seeing your mom.
mom isn't the answer to this. That's in the past. The future is with the memory scanner. Just as I feared. This ship is almost out of fuel. We gotta come right on our hands. Soldier, I don't have time to explain every last detail to you. We need to get this puppy back to my house pronto. Carl, this is serious. You haven't told anybody about that, have you? Great. Now, go to call for the rock. Pretty amazing story, huh? Really makes you think. Have you not been paying attention? You not remember the other.